Welcome back to That Funny. A fly swatter fishing noodle. Yep, you're getting ready to see one. I tell you folks, I'm simple. It works. And I'm going to show you how to make one real quick in this simple little video. This catfish noodle will cost you about 80 cents. And well worth it. Come join us. Look at this gorgeous morning. It's July, folks. A little bit of haze over the water. It feels good outside right now. The water is actually warmer than air temperature. Let's show you how to make that fly swatter fishing noodle so we can get out here and catch us a fish. Okay, let's sit out here in the backyard and put this noodle together. Obviously, you're going to need your fly swatter. You can get two for 98 cents at Walmart. Two for 98 cents. You can get a noodle. They're like a couple bucks. Now you can make three of these out of one noodle. Make sure you get the ones with the smaller hole like this. You'll see what I mean here in a minute. And I just used what I had. I, I got some 50 pound tests. That's a little strong. You can use 20 or 30. And uh, I like these eagle swivels. Number ones. You got to have a swivel when you're catfishing. Because they like to spin too much. And I just had these on hand. These are assorted catfish hooks. I like the, I don't know this the size. But it's big. The bigger the better for me. I don't like messing with the little cats. I want to eat in size. And you just, as you can see, slide it right in there. Hey, you're going to want to measure this. And I'll show you here. Just lay your flash water out and make a mark. And you want to Leave your fly swatter sticking out of your noodle about this much right here. As you can see, it's past the mark. And then these noodles cut real easy. Good old sharp knife. I got my little old trusty buck knife here. And we'll just uh, cut this real. It don't have to be perfect. You're fishing with a fly swatter and a noodle. Okay, here's what it's going to look like. Nothing too hard yet, right? I told you we're simple around here, but it works. It works great. Loads of fun for the family. Kids love it. All right, stick your fly swatter in there. And there you go. You can see the end there. And we're going to tie our string, our leader line right here. Let's go ahead and cut us some line here. And I forgot to tell you, use a sinker. I had these egg sinkers on hand. They work. You don't need a real heavy one, at least not in <clears throat> where we're fishing. But just enough to kind of stabilize. And once you get all that together, your sinker and your swivel, now it's time to... And I use polymer knots all the way. I use polymer knots. I use a cinch knot on the hook, but I like a polymer knot and a cinch knot with a hook. Here's what the simple cinch knot, what well, it, it looks like here. Just go on through the front, come down and make you a tag. Hold on to it. Wrap it seven times because I like the number seven. And this 50 pound test is. In some ways, it's kind of hard to get your hand around it, bend it back around, but you can do it. It just makes things kind of ball up a little bit more. Come back through the back side of your hook, pull your leader line through there, and just cinch it up. And the fish will not get off that knot. It might break your line, but it ain't going to pull that knot. 
not a cinch knot. Just tighten it up there. Like I said, that 50 pound test, you just gotta keep pulling on it and working on it. And then cut that tag off and you're in business. And this is what it looks like. This noodle will cost you about 80 cents is what we calculated. So it won't break the bank. And you can use it over and over and over and have all kinds of fun. Kids love it. And I guess maybe I'm still a kid because I love it too. Real simple to put together. Very effective on catching fish. And just wrap it up on the noodle, hook it in the top, drop it in a, we keep them in a five gallon bucket. Here's one we bought at Walmart. It's kind of the same, it's kind of where I got the idea. But actually, I think the fly swatter is stronger than that cheap plastic they've run through there on the one that you buy at Walmart. And that's about a $3 noodle at Walmart. Like I said, mine costs 80 cents. Don't use the black fly swatters. They just don't, I didn't think about that. But they don't show as good. The red ones really show when a fish gets on and they that red will pop up in there and you can see it really good. I highly recommend getting red. Here's a little bonus for this video. Gina spoils me every now and then. She bought me this fancy fish stringer. Now, I use a stringer on my kayak and I gotta tie it and retie it tie it and retie it every time we catch a fish to my kayak this deal here not sure what it's called because we threw the package away but you just clip this to your kayak and this piece right here you twist it and it comes off comes out and that is your point that goes through the gill out the mouth of the fish like a regular stringer except then when you're done you just come back push it back in twist it and it clips and you're all set i just thought that was kind of neat i thought i'd share it with you and here's proof this fly swat noodle does work i want to apologize to all of you i don't have a waterproof camera and we video very carefully on water because we don't want to drop our camera in the water I, i'm going to upgrade one of these days and get a camera where we can get better shots out on the water on these action shots but there's a catfish on this fly swat noodle right now and here in a minute i will uh, go over and grab that noodle and it's fish on once they get on there they're on there now i don't know how big a one they, they'll pull it under but they won't keep it under not for long and it's just fun to watch them float around. And uh, I highly recommend you making this and giving it a try. I got a little baby bubbles I bought at Walmart, a little aerator, got my fish in there. And uh, getting ready to head to the house. I'll be skinning this bad boy up. Get you a fish noodle. Get out there. You can do this. Like and subscribe. See you next time.